How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to show you how to transfer all your photos and videos from Google Photos to iCloud. And the best part is you don't need a computer. We're going to do it all straight from our iPhone. On top of that, this video is updated to 2024 in the latest versions of iOS. Okay, so the first thing I recommend you to do is open up your browser and go to photos.google.com, as you can see right here. Make sure to log in to the Google account that you have all your photos and videos that you want to transfer to iCloud. I recommend that you do that just to make sure that your photos and videos are actually there in Google's cloud, all right? So as you can see, I have a few photos, I have a video, not a lot of stuff, but I have here a few examples and those are the photos and videos I'm gonna be transferring from Google Photos to iCloud, okay? After that, go ahead and go to another Google website, which is Takeout, you have probably seen it before, takeout.google.com, as you're seeing right there, and on this website, again, make sure to log in to that very same Google account that you have your photos and videos, because generally we have a ton of Google accounts, so make sure that you're logged in to the correct one. As you just saw, I have just changed my Google account because I was actually logged in to the wrong one, okay? So if you need to change, tap here and just log in to the correct one, all right? Go ahead here on Google Takeout and tap on Deselect All, okay? So tap here, it's gonna deselect all because what Google Takeout will do is actually help us transfer data, but in this video, all we want, of course, is photos. So let's go ahead and scroll down until you see Google Photos right here. Here, there we have it so go ahead and tap on it that's the only thing that we want photos and videos of course so scroll all the way down now keep scrolling keep scrolling we have a ton of data that Google collects from us as you can see and then go ahead here and tap on next step as you can see and right here we have the possibility the, the destination. And what I recommend you to do is to leave it like that, send download link via email, all right? Right here, frequency, just once, uh, format.zip, and then file size, and this is very important, so if you actually have hundreds of gigabytes of photos and videos, I do recommend that you choose the largest option, because what Google Takeout will do is actually send us batches of those files, so batches of photos and videos. So if you have hundreds of gigabytes, you would want, of course, the largest possible. I'm gonna leave it at two gigabytes, because as you saw, I don't have a lot of photos and videos, but please keep that in mind so if you have hundreds of gigabytes we will need to download multiple times multiple 10 gigabyte files all right unfortunately that's the only way to do it and that's how Google decided to manage those files all right so create export as you're seeing right here, and then export process, and then it's gonna say here that it was created, your files are being prepared, and then all you have to do is wait a little bit, and soon we'll get the download link to actually download our photos and videos in our email. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look if it's already there. And as a matter of fact, it is. So if we actually go down here and go to mail, you'll see right here on my Google account, on the, the exact same email, right? Google Takeout, your data is ready to download. Awesome, so we can go ahead here and download your files. And of course, it's gonna take us to another page, and right here, we'll actually be able to download. It's gonna ask us to log in, of course. We're logging in, as you can see, and here we go, we've got, in my case, which is 59 megabytes, but of course, as I said, it may be multiple gigabytes for you, and it's already giving us a download link. So tap here on download, it's gonna download, and we're done. We have downloaded our photos and videos from Google Photos, as you can see right here, straight from our iPhone. So let me go ahead here and tap on downloads, and as you can see, take out, there we go, the zip file, right? So let's tap on the little uh, find button right here. It's gonna take us straight to my download folder inside my files app on my iPhone. Of course, I can go ahead, tap on it, and then it's gonna unzip, that's what we want. Tap on it once again, and right here we have Google Photos, so tap on it, and right here we have it, photos from 2019 and photos from 2024. It's gonna separate by year tap on it and as you can see that's a photo 
tap on it right here those are all of the other photos and the video as well which is right here so as you can see all of my files are here i have downloaded all of my photos and videos from google photos to my iphone but of course the idea is to actually send them to icloud right and that's the final step so go ahead here and tap on your photos and videos tap here on the three dots and then of course tap on select and then select the photos the videos everything as you can see right here you're gonna select them all you don't need this file log right there just the the photos and videos themselves right as you can see and then of course all you have to do is tap on the share button and then save 10 items as you can see and as we tap on save 10 items it's gonna actually save to my iphone library it's gonna actually save right here to my iphone photos and so i'm gonna tap on photos and there they are as you can see my photos and the video as well as you have probably seen it it's all here and of course since my iphone library is linked to icloud they are already in icloud as you can see synced to icloud that's it we have successfully transferred our google photos and videos to iCloud. If your iPhone library isn't synced to iCloud, you will have to go ahead here and tap on your settings and then all the way at the top right here, tap on your name and then iCloud and then photos and then make sure to enable this option, sync this iPhone to iCloud photos. And then of course, those files are going to go ahead and be uploaded to iCloud. That's literally it. That's the process, that's how to do it. You would have to do the exact same thing if you were doing it from a computer. You would have to download manually and then upload to iCloud, but we're doing it much, much easily straight from our iPhone, okay? So, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.